Sayyidina Fatima radiallahu anh was the mother of Sayyidina Imam Hassan, Sayyidina Imam Hussain radiallahu anh. Sayyidina Fatima radiallahu anh was born five years before the announcement of Prophet Muhammad. She radiallahu anh was the individual for whom the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would say, May my parents be sacrificed upon you, O Fatima. Now we as Muslims, we say, Fidaka umni wa abi ya Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that Ya Rasulullah, may our parents be sacrificed for you. And just think, what must the status be of the one who the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would say these words about? Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Fatima is a piece of my body, and whomsoever displeased her has surely displeased Allah, so has surely displeased me. Sayyidina Ali radiallahu anhu narrates the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said to Sayyidina Fatima radiallahu anhu that indeed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is displeased with your displeasure and is pleased with your pleasure. So the pleasure of Sayyidina Fatima radiallahu anhu is the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the displeasure of Sayyidina Fatima is the displeasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Sayyidina Abdullah bin Zubayr radiallahu anhu said that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that surely indeed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has ordered me to give Fatima in marriage to Ali. So the, the, the marriage of Sayyidina Fatima radiallahu anhu and Sayyidina Ali radiallahu anhu was also, was also an order from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Sayyidina Huzaifa radiallahu anhu states that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that an angel who has never set foot on the earth asked for permission from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to come and visit me so that he can bless me and give me with the glad tidings that Fatima radiallahu anhu is the leader of the women of paradise and Hassan and Hussein radiallahu anhu are the chiefs of the youth of paradise. Sayyidina Ali radiallahu anhu raised to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam once said to him that <clears throat> first of all you, Fatima, Hassan and Hussein will enter paradise. Sayyidina Ali radiallahu anhu asked the beloved Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that Ya Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam what about the people who love us? What about our ushaq? And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that they will also be following you into Jannah. So this is a lesson for us that if we have the love of the Ahlul Bayt in our hearts, inshallah we will follow them into Jannah. Ummul Mu'mineen Sayyidah Aisha bint Siddiq radiallahu anh narrates that whenever Sayyidah Fatima radiallahu anh would come to visit, the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would stand to welcome her. And not only would he stand, he would hold her hand he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would kiss the blessed hand of Sayyidina Fatima and would make Sayyidina Fatima sit on the seat where the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was sitting. This is the, the, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam uh, had, would uh, respect Sayyidina Fatima in such a way that whenever she would come he would stand up to welcome her and he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would make her sit on the blessed seat that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would sit on. Before her demise from this world Sayyidina Fatima said to Sayyidina Asma bin Umais uh, anha that keep my janaza fully covered at, at the time of my funeral proceedings and at the time of burial. Such was uh, the parda of Sayyidina Fatima radiallahu anha. Sayyidina Fatima radiallahu anha passed away on the third of Ramadan, uh, 11 HD, not sure after the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa and was buried in Jannah al her janazah was led by Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq radiallahu anhu. Sayyidina Ali radiallahu anhu narrates that once I heard the glory of Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam say that on the day of judgment an unseen announcer will make an announcement and the announcement will be that O oh people of Mahshar, lower your gaze, lower your gaze so that Fatima bin Muhammad can pass through. SubhanAllah. Such amazing personalities, we should, we should take role models from such people. 
our mothers and sisters should take Sayyidah as a role model. Uh, the, the Kalam which I recited, the Nukta, the last verse, Allah Sayyidi Allah Hazrat and says that Kya Baat Raza Us Chaman Ispani Karam Ki Zahra Hai Kari Jisme Hussain Aur Hasan Poor. Allah uh, says that how amazing is that garden of compassion, O Raza, in which Zahra is a good, and Hassan and Hussein are flowers. Allah refers to say that Fatima radiallahu anha is a bud. The bud is uh, the, the flower before it blooms, so it's all covered. Uh,